Hi, this is Janelle Penny, Editor-in-Chief of Buildings, and I'm here with Shallon Ramsey, who is the founder, inventor, and CEO of Masket, which is a uh, menstrual hygiene disposal tool, is that right? That's right. Great. Can you show me how it works? Yeah, absolutely. So um, what really makes us unique is we're the only uh, company on the market that's really looking at menstrual hygiene disposal from a woman's health standpoint. Mm -hmm. So if you look at this little uh, picture here, this is something that all women in facilities are familiar with. Messy overfilled receptacles, uh, as well as plumbing issues that result when women don't want to use the receptacles. So uh, when a woman flushes, it causes plumbing problems for facilities. Uh, what we really like to focus on is acknowledging that facilities struggle with that, but also really look at this from a different perspective. There's a major discrepancy in how blood is handled in every other environment. So if you think about in any other area of a facility, if visible blood is found, universal precautions are taken, out comes the bloodborne pathogen kit, inside the kit is going to be actually a full hazmat suit including uh, goggles to protect the eyes and a mask to protect the nose and mouth. Mm -hmm. That's because uh, bloodborne pathogens can actually be contracted through mucous membranes as well as small cuts, abrasions on the fingers, any sort of compromised skin. We also know that diseases like Hep B, Hep C, and MRSA all live on surfaces outside the body, even in dried blood, Hep B for up to a week, Hep C for up to three weeks, and MRSA even longer. So when you take a step back and can acknowledge what's actually happening in the women's restroom, it's easy to understand why changes need to be made. Um, unfortunately, women are handling their own blood during the removal of a tampon or pad. Then they go ahead and touch the receptacle, flush the toilet, open the stall door. Then they're going to go wash their hands, so they're hitting the soap dispenser, the water faucet. If it's not auto water, people will, you know, turn off the water out of habit, retouching a contaminated surface. Right. Um, so the problem is, is women like us are walking into those public restrooms completely unprotected. We don't have gloves. We have no protection. We have to all touch those same touch points. Now, custodial staff is typically gloved, but they're also not protecting their mucous membranes because of this disconnect, really, between menstrual blood and blood. So unfortunately, if they have contamination on their and they could also be at risk if they inadvertently rub their eye, nose, or mouth. So the solution that I invented actually addresses this whole situation from the woman's health perspective, but it's also benefiting facilities and reduction of plumbing issues, reduction of toilet paper consumption, as well as just cleaner restrooms overall. So our little dispenser goes into every single woman's restroom stall. We do give instructions to not flush the menstrual product. Um, however, the difference is, is now the facility is providing an easy, safe, and sanitary way to dispose of the item. We have a size for tampons and a size for pads. The theory behind them is exactly the same. The only difference is actually in the size of the pouch. So I'm going to show you how it works really quick. So this is our tampon size pouch. What makes a uh, mask it so unique, it's the only solution that's ever been designed to actually be placed on the hand prior to the removal of a menstrual item. So it works a lot like a puppet, if you will. You're able to remove your item without actually coming into contact with it. So the glove-like protection is really important in this. Now you just simply invert the pouch, remove this small liner, and seal it up. So it's a really simple concept, but you can see how powerful this is in the public restroom, right? Because because of the glove-like protection, we're able to eliminate potential bloodborne pathogen exposure risk at all the touch points in the restroom. Because all the blood is permanently sealed and self-contained before it goes in a receptacle, it's going to be an extra protection for custodial staff. But not only that, it keeps receptacles clean. So you'll no longer see blood on the lid or inside or outside of the receptacle. It's a lot more compact than toilet paper, so receptacles feel less quickly. Now, woman, a woman walks into a restroom and you've given her a solution for her item. The receptacle is clean, she no longer has a reason to flush, mm -hmm. and that's why facilities will see a huge reduction in plumbing issues when they implement our solution. Great. And we do also provide educational signage for the back of stall doors. I can grab one for you if you want to see it. Yeah, let's check yeah, it out. Isn't that interesting? Like changing so this is what that looks like. We recommend placement on the back of the stall door, and that's uh, so it doesn't impact the look of a restroom, but when a woman walks in, sits down to do her business, she's going to get this message right in front of her face. We care about your health. Is that right? Great. We're providing masks to give you a safe sanitary disposal option. Here's how you use it. Um, and then messaging on here that's important. We're reconnecting the dots for women, bloodborne pathogens. 
can be contracted through exposure to blood. So unfortunately, uh, you know, there has been that fault separation in the mind, mostly because no one ever talks to us about this, so it's natural we would separate it because menstruation is natural, right? Right. Um, but the reality is, is when it comes to exposure risk, it's exactly the same. So just helping women understand why the solution is being provided really impacts the, the adoption rate and the learning curve because they're motivated to make the change from the typical toilet paper wrap that they're used to. So also informing them that it's not plastic. So our product is completely earth friendly and sustainable made with certified compostable biofilm actually all plant-based so we're really proud of that part of our product um, but one great feature about it is it also blocks odor on a molecular level so facility is looking to provide that clean feeling environment it really impacts them because now you no longer have to worry about odor that's typically associated with those menstrual receptors great so, so yeah. it's almost like an amenity too in addition to well you know anybody who wants to provide a superior guest experience it's definitely a nice way to do that that, but in my opinion, uh, the most important thing about our product is it's a proactive way for facilities to protect the health of everyone using their restroom, as well as their custodial staff. I think it's a bonus uh, that they're going to experience a reduction in toilet paper consumption, as well as a reduction in plumbing issues. Um, but really, the important thing is that they're protecting the health of everyone in their restroom. Great. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that we should know about it? Um, well, really, uh, I would just say you could go to our website. Um, which I guess you probably can't see my card, but our website is maskit.us. Okay, um, you're going to find a lot of information on our site. We have a free puberty education program, so if you have uh, facilities that are school related, we can actually help educate the young girls about how to use the, the product and we provide free sample kits for them. Um, we also, uh, yeah, just really look forward to hopefully being in all of your restrooms. Great, thank you so much, yeah. Shellen. Thank you.